What's going on? Welcome back to Trading Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. Today is another roller coaster of a day, and I feel like I'm saying that every single day at this stage. But I want to break it down on why it is going down. Is it justified? And I'll go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So at the time of doing this video, it is down 2.44%. There was a new 52-week low at $6.15 created. So give yourself a shadow if you did catch the bottom today. But 13. 18.8 million shares being traded 29.3 is the average and so today's gonna be a fairly heavy volume day aside from that you do see a lot of good buying that did happen first thing so these are all the transactions occurring on the secondary market above $100,000 so you do see a big one right here so 2.15 million so you do see a lot of buying around that 634 range and then you start to see some selling because there was two things that did come out starting off i'll touch on that in a second though but starting off they did actually put out some news in my opinion no real reason to buy sofi or sell it based on this it's just a good fyi but galileo financial technologies helps fintechs meet demand for fast secure money movement with wire transfer capabilities and it's really funny how a lot of people just see so SoFi as a just as a bank whereas Galileo is that defining factor that kind of makes it a fintech just again a lot of people seem to forget that they have these other assets in their portfolio so kind of funny as usual but no recent SCC filing so last one came out on July the 5th but in reality what is really prompting it to go down is this so my apologies for this screen you get quadruple me uh, I guess it's not really working but you do have two new analyst ratings and so it's kind of funny i did bring this up yesterday that we should anticipate some ratings sooner rather than later doesn't logically make sense that they give ratings a couple weeks prior to their earnings because normally what what analysts do is they give ratings based on the earnings so it's kind of backwards but you do have two came in today kbw tim who has a 70 percent success rating did lower their rating from 750 to 7 and then barclays terry who does have a 55 percent success rating did lower it from 10 to 8 so not necessarily the most optimistic as a consensus of all the ratings eight dollars and 15 cents is anticipated and that's a 31.45 percent upside so kind of crazy once again not the most optimistic ratings cause sofi to just to shit the bed pardon my french but then you get these 12 dollar ratings and i think it causes it to go up 0.5 percent or if anything like I, I can't remember that day exactly but very bullish ratings do absolutely nothing to the stock price this stock I get the frustration for people. This stock seems to be just hellbent on going down. And it's really concerning, right? Because you see every other stock just go up like crazy. So like I mentioned in my video yesterday, I think just opportunity cost is really kicking in for a lot of people. Seeing SoFi down and really unable to hold gains is just, it eats at your soul. Plus at the same time, you do have a lot of manipulation, which makes things so much worse. Right now, shorts are kind of returning 212,000 shares, 18.01% of the free floats being shorted works out to be 187.01 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization 68.15, short score 74.46, and then cost to borrow average is 0.88%. So by shorts returning at, on a red day kind of shows that, well, it's not that significant of a bound mind you, but it kind of shows that today is unjustified. So this is why I like to analyze this information. But nonetheless, though, shorts have been waiting patiently for the last little bit. You can kind of tell that based on this. They haven't been doing all that much, but they've been waiting for their time to pounce. And in my opinion, depending on CPI that's coming out later in the week, that could be that deciding point where shorts really either double down or they start to return and bring the kind of the short interest back down to the 16% range. So we'll just have to wait and see. Looking at options, so the market's been open one hour, so kind of keep that in mind. 1.89 million in calls, 714,000 in puts. Sentiment-wise, 46% of all the options being done so far are bearish, clearly anticipating more of a downtrend. Looking at the open interest though, so you do see for this upcoming Friday, so July the 12th expiry date, currently 20,000 in open interest at that 650, 23,000 at that seven, and then even going into next week, you start to see a wall at that six. So 
Bigger entities are starting to build up stronger and stronger resistance points, so making it harder for SoFi to really push higher. Um, so again, it's just one of those very concerning situations that SoFi has been in for the last three months. So this is why I kind of mentioned over, I think, two videos ago that I, I can honestly say that I do not know if SoFi is going to have the FOMO similar to what has happened in the past where it does go up. This might be the one inverse kind of scenario where it might go down into their earnings and then their earnings might cause it to go up. Who knows? This market is absolutely crazy sometimes. And I do actually have a bid for $6.16 to buy 200 additional shares in one of my registered accounts. So we'll see if it does hit. It looks like it's... Uh, Maybe we'll we'll wait and find out. But aside from all of that fun stuff, though, with it right now at six dollars and eighteen cents, it is trading between this S two and this S one. So today's also more of a technical breakdown. So since this uh, six dollars and twenty eight cents is going to be that next strong resistance slash target, and as of right now, five ninety nine is going to be that next strong support. And keep in mind, around that five ninety nine, this is where market makers will start to really increase the wall options wall at six dollars so it's going to be more of a i know it sucks to say but it's going to be more of that rinse and repeat that sofi is going to struggle with that six dollar range so it's it's an unfortunate scenario in all honesty on the actual chart itself it is fully breaking down so it is below this point right here so it's kind of looking like it is in free fall we'll just have to wait and see what powell does say so he's testifying right now Hopefully he comes out with some pretty good stuff. Aside from that, looking at stochastic, it is at 21. So considered oversold, you do see a bearish deviation and number of retail investors are selling out. So I do find this interesting. On social media, you see a lot of people very bullish on SoFi. And I, I like to think that of all the YouTubers that cover SoFi, I like to think that I'm the most realistic. I know I don't go into the fundamental business itself, such as what exactly Galileo does, uh, their CEO and whatever else. I'm more technical driven, as I'm sure you guys are aware, and it's more short term stuff. But like I, I see a lot of people on social media saying, hey, I'm buying the dip, I'm buying the dip. Based on the data, it's like people are not buying the dip. So it, I, I don't know. It's one of those scenarios that it's a very problematic stock. Any stock that has a heavy retail presence gets these crazy volatile swings because they they panic. They, they're very big. Like, for instance, when it was at $750, a lot of people were like, hey, man, I wish I, it was at $6. I would buy the hell out of SoFi right now. When it comes to six dollars and it's like eh you know what i'm gonna wait till five that is single-handedly the problem with a lot of people like yes I, I do swing trade as i've kind of mentioned to you guys i i sold out my large position at eight bought back in at kind of the high sixes exited at 750 and then i recently did buy again at 630 so rinse and repeat right never fall in love with a stock and if you say you're gonna buy something at a certain price then do it. Um, so it's one of those kind of flawed scenarios, but that's my Tuesday morning rant. My apologies on that. So with all that said, give yourself a shout out though. If you did buy today, did you sell? I saw that I hit 616. So probably my position did fill. Oh, I bought another 200 shares of SoFi. So yeah, it's a very interesting day. Let me know your thoughts if it's justified in your opinion or not. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching. <laughs>